hi everyone welcome back to my channel in case you're new here my name is phil so in today's video let's make this yummy sesame mahamris they are so so good guys if you like mahamris you are going to love love this the sesame gives them a nice crunchy texture i tell you you're going to love this with some coffee some tea or you can have it also with some bazi or nazi as some of you like serving your mahamris with so this recipe is super simple anyone can make this at home i've listed the whole recipe in the description box down below so without saying more let's get started so to get started we're just going to first activate our yeast so here i have one cup warm milk i'm going to add active dry yeast you're going ahead to mix that well until everything is nicely incorporated then you just leave this in a warm place to activate for about five minutes so next let's mix our dry ingredients so in your bowl you're going to add all-purpose flour for this recipe i'm using two and a half cups of all-purpose flour i'm following that with some granulated sugar and some cinnamon powder you can use cardamom powder if you have you'll just mix that well for about a minute next you're going to add some butter so here i have some melted and salted butter you can also use margarine if you don't have butter so just use your hands to mix that well so this is just to make sure that there are no lumps in our flour this will take about one or two minutes and our yeast mixture is ready so next you're just going to add it to our flour so you're just going to use your hands to knead this for about two to three minutes until you have a nice stiff dough so remember you can always mix everything in a stand mixer if you have which will actually make this process very much easier so as you can see our dough is a bit sticky so don't add any flour at this moment we're just going to transfer it to our flat surface and then we're just going to knead this for about seven to eight minutes so just make sure you flood your working space so this is just to allow the dough from sticking on your working space so you'll just put the dough there and then you also sprinkle a little bit of flour on top of it so the kneading takes some time about eight minutes so kneading it all that time makes the dough be smooth and soft so just take your time continue kneading it until it's very smooth and soft and it's no longer sticky so i want to take this time to quickly thank everyone who is watching this video i love you so much guys thanks for being here and if you're here and you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe for more of my amazing recipes and also if you've liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up so our dough is ready at this point so for the next step we're just going to proof it so you lightly oil your bowl this is just to make sure that the dough doesn't stick to your bowl while it's proofing so you'll just place your dough in the bowl and and then you just cover that with a clear kitchen paper and then you let this rise for about 30 to 40 minutes or until it doubles in size and as you can see it has doubled in size so just go ahead and give it a light punch Go ahead and give it a quick knead so this is just to deflate all the air that's built up in that dough next you'll transfer your dough to a flat working space you're going ahead to knead that for about a minute next we'll go ahead and divide the dough into four equal balls and our dough balls are ready so just place that aside next we're just going to cut them with some sesame seeds so here i have white sesame seeds remember you can get the sesame seeds from any local supermarkets at the dry section and i'm also going to use some milk so this milk is just at room temperature so first you're going to spread some milk on one side of the dough ball and then you're just going to press that side that you've spread the milk on the sesame seeds so just cut the dough only on one side with the sesame seeds once you're done you're going to place that on our flat surface so just spread some flour so make sure the side that hasn't touched some sesame seeds is the one that is facing down so you're just going to use a rolling pin you're going to slowly roll that until you have a nice smaller circle so make sure that you don't roll the dough too thin or else your mahamris or mandazis will not come out 
well so once you're done rolling that you're just going to section it into four equal pieces like this you can cut them into whatever shape you want but i like the triangular shape so once that is done place that aside and now let's get to cooking so next you'll place your pan over medium heat and then you're just going to add some vegetable oil you will heat that and once the oil is ready you'll slowly place the cut dough in the hot oil so you're just going to fry this for about two to three minutes or until they're nicely golden browned on both sides And our mandazis or mahamris are ready so we'll just remove them from the hot oil place them on a kitchen towel to release out more excess oil and continue with the rest of the remaining cut dough and that's just it that's how easy it is to make this yummy eye-catching sesame mahambris i tell you you're going to love love them they are soft so yummy you can serve them with anything you want some hot coffee or hot tea or with some bazis and nazi i tell you you are going to love love this i guarantee you this is going to be the best mahambri recipe you ever made so i hope you guys are going to try out this easy recipe and as usual if you try it don't forget to tell me how yours came out on the comment section down below also remember to find more of my amazing recipes on instagram at fields underscore kitchen or also on tiktok at fields underscore kitchen so till my next video bye